you say hi? Okay. Okay then. I guess we should get started. talking about this little caterpillar that Julie has been using probably since the first month she was born. Right, Julie? <laughs> yeah. So what's neat about this caterpillar is that it helps supported sitters. I think that's the term figure out how to sit on their own. And Julie's always been the type of baby that wants to sit up on her own or sit up in general. So I definitely recommend the Infantino Caterpillar because it's only like 20 bucks. So if you're not really trying to spend a lot on something that you might consider being just used for a few months which in this case I feel like we've used this for six months because since she was born she's wanted to sit up on her own and I feel like this caterpillar really so I think that this caterpillar is better than the boombo chair bumbo chair I don't know how you pronounce it um Although I will probably state some pros and cons to this chair. Probably one of the cons is that it's really plush. So, I mean, if you have a heavier baby and like they lean to the side, the caterpillar will move towards or gravitate towards that side more. Um, which Julie tends to sometimes like throw her body on one side and next thing you know, she's laying down. So, it, you know, like that's a pro con to it um but either way you know you have to supervise your child with whatever was made for babies because you can't trust everything um but i like this chair because it's colorful it's it's padded on the back more padded than it is with like a bumbo boombo chair um so I feel like it's more comfortable for her to lean back. You got anything to add? <laughs> so yeah, and when they're infants, they actually tend to like the colors black and white more because they don't really see different shades of color yet. So it's easy for them to pinpoint black and white. And this chair has a lot of like black and white designs on here but it also has you know colors that can introduce them your eyesight to seeing um different shades of green and blue are you showing them your foot okay here's your donut Okay, Julie. And the really neat thing about this caterpillar, it also breaks down for tummy time. And I don't really see a lot of versatile baby stuff. Um, I see quite a few, but not a lot. So I really liked using this for tummy time in the beginning because it helped her kind of build arm muscle. Um, but she's always been more of a kicker than she is just working her arms out. So. So we're going to give you a quick demo of what it looks like to transition it to tummy time. It's really quick and easy. I'm holding your donut. Okay. Okay, you ready? Okay. Okay, Kevin. So this is Julie. She's about like five and a half plus months old. I want to say like five and three weeks or so. She'll be six months soon. 
She's already capable of actually trying to sit up on her own with a little less support so I'm like hands free but she is kind of leaning back on my shins um but for a few seconds at a time as like the baby stages go she is capable of sitting up on her own for a little bit so it's really cool about this is it's all velcroed up and velcro is actually pretty strong all right so it has one velcro strap over here at the end another velcro strap here underneath the caterpillar's head and another velcro strap over here in the back and this is to help support um, to whatever level you want your child's back to be supported at or reclined at so it breaks down to look a little like an s yes Julie. so it looks like this <laughs> it's all messed up and jumbled up and it has this little um fabric on the bottom too. So I like to just grab onto this and like scooch her on whichever side I need her to be on um, of like the couch or the bed and that helps. Um, but generally like this section right here is actually for tummy time as displayed in their images. I'm pretty sure you could use whichever portion of this um, but for example we'll use this part that's displayed in and we will put Julie down for tummy time. Now this is a little bit higher up for a little tummy time pillow. Um, but she'll use that. She'll just be about with her tummy time. So that's what that looks like. Um, yeah. Uh, actually when she was a infant, a tinier, tinier infant, I started her off with this side because it's lower level. Um, and this is actually the part that actually supports her feet up. Um, but she can actually put it over their feet too, just you know, to make sure they're more stable in their little cushion chair. Um, and it actually came with a couple of toys that I've had to take them off because Julie tends to play with them and she likes playing with them in front of her. Um, but there are these little little fabric hoops that have another like velcro attached toy so it has like a little scrunched up toy and like a little teething ring that she likes to munch on because she's in her teething phase you say hi julie yeah so it helps her and she just likes chilling out on this pillow um but it helps a lot with like time and time and I would say this is a great tummy time object to begin with because in the beginning they're trying to build up their leg muscles and their arm muscles and for some babies like you know everybody's body is different so for some babies like Julie I thought she was actually more um, prone to kicking around because that's what she's been doing in the womb rather than like moving her arms a lot. Yeah. So she likes having the ability to just lay on her tummy here and just kick about in the back.